Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to this session. It's called The Five Sensations. Uh, and I um, would like to welcome you all. My name is Carlos Rosas. And I'm Debbie Rosas. And um, I'll be leading most of the session for today, and Debbie will be assisting. And then at some point, what we, would, well, what we would like to do is we'd like to have, this is set up in cathedral. <laughs> so if you get this sense that you're in a cathedral, doesn't the voice has that kind of quality? I don't know why they put it there, but... It's because it's, it's maybe they want me to a mind-body like experience. Hope or something. Yeah. Oh, that's it's a what it is. Sensation. a spiritual yeah. sound. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> I gotta be in on these things. <laughs> I didn't get the memo. <laughs> you mean your stereo doesn't have a thing that says spiritual on it? Yeah, no. No, <laughs> bass, trebles, oh, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mind body, the mind body setting. So how um, many of so you know about Nia, are familiar with Nia? I think most of you. That's okay, great. and how many people that know nothing? Okay, awesome. We're going to go ahead and then do the workshop in uh, two parts. One of them is very experiential, so that we break down the sensations, and you have an opportunity to play with each one of them. There's a total of five sensations. And then the second part, we're going to run through about 50 minutes of what we would be like a NIA class, so that then you can be moving and at the same time applying the five sensations to the movement, and then, uh, which I think would make it nice and give it a nice feeling. You know, one is, is very workshop-like, experimental, and then the other one applied to movement. And then we'll definitely finish with something calm, you know, so that you have an opportunity to wind down, because I'm sure the class is going to make it very energetic. All right, and then uh, and those of you who have never experienced a NIA class will have an opportunity to get a taste of it. You know, there will be some continuity to the whole process. Uh, before we begin, everybody, I invite you to sit in a comfortable position and close your eyes. Now, this is not going to take too long. It's just going to be a couple of minutes. Uh, take a moment to be with your breath and your body temperature. And then once you feel connected to that sensation of breath and the sensation of your body temperature, then connect to the sensation of your body weight. And that's how you sense it on the floor or your arms resting on your legs, wherever there is body weight to be felt. Get a sense of the stability of your body. It's that sensation that lets you know that you are centered and you can be there for a while. Also notice the sensation of strength along your back. Without a certain amount of strength, your body would collapse, most likely forward. So there are some places in your body where strength can be perceived, sensed. And then as you notice yourself energetically, there should be a sense of continuity a sense of energy moving constantly. And then that's what gives you the sense of I am, without interruptions. You know, your body is not like your arm suddenly disappears and then appears. You know, your arm is there, your energy is running. And you sense that mobility of the energy, constant, very continuous. And then sense the places of flexibility where your body literally reaches outward. And it could be in the way that you're lengthening your arms, your fingers, perhaps along your neck, the crown of the head, and there's a sensation of flexibility lengthening along the back. 
perhaps around your hips, flexibility. And then a place where you might get a sense of agility, it could be in your thoughts, the one thought changing to another, one image changing to another. Or it could be sensation, suddenly sensing your legs, and then poop, next thing you're sensing your back. Poop, next thing you're sensing your shoulders. That gives you a sense of agility. So those are the five sensations that we'll be working with. All right, take three purposeful breaths, smelling the moment, like Debbie likes to say. And then when you feel ready, slowly open your eyes and welcome back. Were you able to track the things I was referring to, the strength, the places of strength, flexibility, mobility, and so on? Yeah. A good place for mobility, of course, is the blood running within our body, but I still can't do that. I still, I don't have enough ability to get to where I can sense my blood moving through. I can sense my heart beating, you know, but not my blood, but that's as an example of mobility, energy flowing all the time. So the five sensations, you know, the word sensation, of course, is the, is the way that our body speaks to us, and I don't need to tell you that. It's, this is just, a, you know, to create a focus for the, a common ground for the workshop, you know. So we have sensations, our body is constantly talking to us, and then through sensation, you know, we communicate, and we meaning I and my body. You know, sometimes I'm distracted, and my body keeps sending sensations, and I don't pick them up. You know, but when I pay attention to it, then that's the way that my body and I communicate. You know, like a minute ago, I was here ready to start everything, and then my body gave me the sensation, gotta pee, right? If I hadn't listened to it, I would be in trouble right now. But luckily, I heard it, and so went out, came back, and my body at some point says, okay, that's it. So the sensation changed. And then, uh, you know, when we're moving and we're, we're doing exercise, when we're working out, when we're conditioning our bodies, the, the sensations are constant, yeah? And it's not unusual to be distracted from sensations. I get involved with the music or I start looking at other people and it's, sensations are very interesting in the way that they're there all the time, but that doesn't mean that we are always paying attention to it. We get distracted from it. And, you know, it's almost an art to be able to be tracking sensations on a constant basis while at the same time being connected to thoughts, emotions, life, you know, whatever is going on around us. And when we are exercising, it's very important that we stay connected to sensation. Now, these five sensations give us an opportunity to be connected to the activity that we are doing while at the same time maximizing how we use our body, you know, which I think is a great thing. I always want, when I come to move, I want to maximize my time moving, regardless of what I do. And at the same time, I want to be connected to sensation so that I feel safe, so that I'm attentive to my body's needs, so that I can sense when my body is making breakthroughs. You know, I want to be there when my body makes a breakthrough and the sensation just lets me know, like, oh my God, I just did that. Wow, that's amazing. Or when my body says, oh, I don't want to go there. And I want to make sure that I'm attentive to say, okay, let's, let's not go there. You know? And then, uh, so the five sensations help us maximize that time when we are moving and at the same time being in sensation. And um, the five sensations also balance the way that you are treating your body so that when you finish your activity, you do feel that you have become stronger. You know, that you have increased the mobility within your body. 
the places where mobility is available so that you feel that you have um, increased your ability to be agile so that you have the, uh, the sensation that I have become stronger and my, est my stability, my ability to find center has also increased. Right? I mean, those are five pretty powerful ideals, I would think, for any activity. Whether it's a sport or whether it's just dancing or moving or anything you know, that you do when you're hula hooping, any of those five sensations are always present. Any, anything that you do, yeah. And so one of the trainings that Debbie and I do is we train so that when we are moving, we are attentive and we say, okay, there's the strength. Okay, there's the sensation of flexibility. Okay, now I'm doing some extra mobility. Okay, now there's some extra agility. Or two or three sensations at the same time. So let's go ahead and then let me give you an opportunity to experience those sensations. And then uh, I'd like to do it first without music and then we do some music to it, yeah? And then we put it to a routine. How's that? All right? So let me just go ahead and define them for you. The sensation of flexibility is energy moving out, all right? First, when I, th when I think of flexibility, I think of something like this, all right? I want to stretch. But we would like to, you to think of it differently, right? Think of flexibility as energy moving out. So whenever your bones have an opportunity to move away from the center, go ahead and then sense that as flexibility. One of the easiest places of flexibility is yawning. Notice that in the yawning, we just normally, naturally, we want our bones to move away from our body. All right? So go ahead and sense flexibility. So this is the sensation of flexibility. All right? Now, for example, increase the flexibility along your legs in any way that you can. And then flexibility over here. And all you need to do is just focus on the bones moving away. <clears throat> now, could you do this with your knee bent, right? So if the, knee, the leg is bent, I could also go ahead and then increase the flexibility by following the line of the bone. And then over here, too. If my elbow is bent, I find the place of flexibility along the upper arm bone, flexibility along the forearm bone, and just let the bones grow long. Can you sense a quality to that? And so what you are sensing, that quality that you sense, is what we would call the sensation of flexibility. So if I say to you, bring the sensation of flexibility to your hand, what would you do? Would you go like this, or would you go like that? Yeah. Now bring the sensation of flexibility to the spinal cord. Cool. Isn't that fun? Right. Now bring the sensation of flexibility to the jaw. Nice. All right, now everybody on your feet. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and then just move your body and then Stick to the sensation of flexibility. We call this free dance in Nia, meaning movement-wise, you make your choices. And then you probably will notice that it becomes a very specific way of moving. Sense flexibility along the top of your feet. Sense flexibility along the back of your feet, the underside, the arches. Use rotations, right? And as you rotate, bring the sensation of flexibility to the way that you rotate your bones. And keep paying attention to the quality, right? The sensation that you are feeling is what you want to memorize, if you will, so that when you are dancing to music, you, re 
you, um, what would I say? You know, you move your body so that you feel this way. And now you know that you are bringing the sensation of flexibility to your dance. Nice. All right, let's go through the five and then we'll do it to music, right? One, one song at a time. Can you sense that, everybody? Okay, now stand and then bring the sensation of flexibility to the way you're standing. Effortless. And then, do you notice that you're also working with energetics? Right? So you can just let your arm here, and I'm not necessarily, I don't necessarily have to do this, watch. All right? I can just let my arm be here, and then energetically, I extend it along the bone, and so I'm working not only muscularly, but also energetically. All right? Now, energetically, bring flexibility to your spinal cord. And again, it's not so much about doing this, and then get on your toes as much as energetically. Nice. Now, energetically, bring flexibility to your legs, even as you stand. And then notice the difference. Isn't that cool? Well, for me it is, anyway. <laughs> I think it's fun. Do you sense yourself standing in a different way? Yeah? And again, it's all a matter of you saying to yourself, this is the sensation of flexibility, energy extending along the bones. Find the bones, extend the energy, energetically or muscularly, and you are enhancing flexibility and openness within the body. All right, now let's go into agility. Ready? So agility is a quick start stop. So you're here, now explode to the other side. Ready? Other side, boom. And then there's the stop, which then brings you to stability. Explode, explode, explode. Now, let's go beyond the, the feet, and so now you can move your body, right? It's kind of like dancing on a with a strobe light on. Ready? So it would be like, hip, 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 Flexibility. <laughs> now, is it different? Flexibility. Agility. And stop. Now, how would you, can you give the sensation of flexibility, the stability a word? Stability? Stabi uh, fl uh, agility. Agility. Explosive, okay. So you, if you have a word, then when you're working out, how often do you hear yourself going like, oh, I'm using that. You know, it's like I'm doing my NIA classes, and then as I'm doing certain things, 
even if I'm going like this, sometimes I'll make sure that I do something explosive, even if it's just in my fingers. And then I go, oh, there, I just brought agility to my workout. Yeah. And if I'm doing a movement like this, then I can go, okay, there, I just did an agility. And then over here, I'm doing flexibility in my right arm, right? Or in the shoulder, and then do a little agility while at the same time doing flexibility along the spine. And it's not that I'm doing anything, well, I am sometimes, but it's that I'm sensing it, yeah? It's that I'm going by sensation. All right, go to your rib cage, ready? Now do some agility just with your rib cage. Now go to your hips, agility. Don't try this at home alone. <laughs> All right, now do some agility with your thighs. Any way you can, with both, any of your thigh bones, both, one, or whatever. Ready? Nice. Now, how about your head? Do, 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 ding, bong, bing, bong, bing, 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 bong, 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 Come on, bird like. Does it look like a strobe light? Stop. So the sensation of agility is do you get that sense with your muscles? Do this. Right? Now, would this be agility? Exactly. How about this? Yeah? And you know, that's a quality that, unfortunately, as we grow older, we lose the ability for the head to be agile. How about your eyeballs? Ready? Tick. Tick. Ding. Ding. Make sure that it really stops. Click. Tick. 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 Pop. Pop. Tick. 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 <laughs> you guys look so funny, you should see yourselves. <laughs> it's a good thing the camera is over there. <laughs> okay, again, boing! Ding! Ding, 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 Okay. All right, so that's another muscle that we, don't, we can't really allow for it to get you know, atrophy. So once again, you know, when I'm doing my classes, I'll be here, and then I'll, I'll just go ahead and then looking at my students, I'll just go boom, boom. And then I just go, oh, there was some agility. Why? Because I sense it. Yeah? I think it, and then I, I do it. So, and you know, it's not unusual for teachers many times to, we, we lock in, right? We lock in into our students and our eyes, actually, eventually, they just kind of stay in the same place. So agility eyeball exercise is very important. All right, so we have um, agility and flexibility. Now let's do some mobility. And then mobility is just continuous movement, right? So basically, I would just go, oh. Now you can go ahead, feel comfortable if you want to, to bring mobility to your head, mobility to the collarbone, mobility to the arms, mobility to the shoulder blades. 
And then the one sensation that you would not want to feel right now is, for example, agility, you know, where you feel like your muscles kind of suddenly grab, right? So this is like entering into a process of perpetual motion, which can be very trippy in and of itself, right? Just going with it and then just perpetual motion. You can vary the speed. You can go fast. You can go slow. Notice the sensation of mobility compared to agility. Even though in agility we were moving quite a bit, notice how different the sensation is. Now, on your own, without me making...